Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and uh, it is 10.07 a.m. Central Standard Time, March the 10th, Friday. Beautiful day, 71 top down degrees. And uh, you know, we have a, uh, I'm driving of course, but I don't know if you'll be able to see them too clearly, but on the right hand side of the road, occasionally, you'll be able to see some little flowers with uh, blue tops, those are called blue bonnets. And also, I hope that the road noise is minimized in this video. I don't know what caused that. I've noticed in a couple of videos there's a lot of road noise, but I'm in a Toyota Prius and they are very quiet on the inside, so I don't know where the speaker is picking up the road noise. But anyway, as I'm driving along, if you see some little blue flowers on the side of the road, you'll know that those are blue bonnets and that is the Texas State flower. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, you're talking to a man who's on probation. I just want to let you know this, this video should only be viewed by uh, idiots or adults. But having said that, the deal with YouTube is ongoing. But anyway, I'll hang there as long as they'll let me. And if they kick me off, they just do. But I can't believe it. That's enough said about that. I just, what I wanted to talk about this morning was going car camping because I'm planning on going possibly on Monday. The weather looks good out there west uh, in the areas that I'm going. So I'll probably, uh, looks like it's a go right now. It's kind of like a, a, a rocket sitting on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral and hoping that the weather's good for the launch. Well, I'm expecting good weather for the launch on Monday. And what I wanted to expand on a little bit was, you know, again, I'm 71 years old. I've full-time RV for 20 plus years. I pulled a travel trailer all over the western USA and different places. Lived in RV parks and all kind of crap. And I also, for the past four years, have gone camping in a Toyota, yeah, Toyota Prius car. And so for those of you that are interested in full-time RVing or car camping, check out my playlist on my channel homepage because there's a lot of tips there that'll help you. Uh, I usually don't uh, add a lot of fluff. I just try to tell you what it is and what it ain't and uh, deal with it. So. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm fixed to go on this trip, but I have to tell you, you know, how it all works, you know, building up to the event, getting into the event, and then returning, the full circle of, of kind of car camping. You know, of course, you know, the first thing you got to start doing prior to going is kind of, get, I, I get a general direction where I want to go. I don't specify specific dates because I don't have to. I'm retired. I can go for as long or as short a period as I want. Uh, financially, it's okay. It doesn't cost that much to go in a Prius. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the finance and the time, how much time it takes. So those two are the two big items out of the way. Uh, the rest of the stuff, you know, like preparing the car and getting all the stuff in. Of course, I do make lists. Boy, do I make lists. I mean, I have a list of what should be in the, in the ice chest. I have a list of what should be in my little storage place in the back of the Prius where you can put some canned goods and stuff. And uh, even though I put stuff back there, I rarely use it. It's just comforting to know that it's there, I guess. But uh, rarely do I ever use the food that I put back there. It ends up, I, you know, I pick up something at a grocery store and snack on it. And I eat so little while I'm traveling that uh, it's not e eating is not a big issue. But I always like to have a roll of toilet, excuse me, a to toilet paper in my little bucket. And then I like to have a, a roll of paper towels in front of the passenger seat and seat in the front because that comes in handy. You know, you, if you're eating or snacking, you can just reach over there and pull off a paper towel. And uh, also get my phone charger hooked up so I can charge stuff on the way. I've got a triple outlet uh, charger thing in my cigarette lighter so I can charge three things at the same time. Uh, rarely do I charge over two but I could charge three. I, I take two phones. <clears throat> Both of them now are with Verizon. One was with AT&T, but now it's with Verizon. We're gonna check that out on this trip. And uh, also I take my laptop. I used to take my tablet, but I'm not gonna take it this time because I don't need it. I don't need the prepaid data because I've got unlimited data with the Verizon plan and it has a 10 gigabyte 
allowance for a hot spot and that'll work perfectly for everything I need and, and more. And, uh, but anyway, so the whole thing about taking a trip is, you know, preparing for the trip. I mean, it, that changes your whole makeup right there. You just kind of get excited about it. You start thinking about it, you know, and in my, in my mind, what I do is I start seeing myself arriving at these places or, you know, sleeping in the car because you kind of have to get used to that. And, uh, you know, you have to, you know, mentally gear up, I guess. And then, of course, the driving. I'm going to cut that down a lot on this trip because there were times on previous car camping trips that I would, you know, I would drive six hours a day. Well, you know, that ain't crap. That's too much, man. So what I've done on this trip is I've cut it down to about three and a half hours per leg of the journey. And that makes it really nice because you can sleep, you know, you can get up in the morning, take a walk, leisurely get your stuff ready to go, which doesn't take long, five or ten minutes. And because uh, I don't put anything up outside, this time I've got a little table I'm taking, which I'm going to pick up at Walmart today, and I'll do a video, a short video of it, because it looks like it's a pretty neat little table. It's cheap, and it works well in a car because it doesn't take up much space. We'll see. And uh, But, you know, for me to get ready to go from a campsite it's nothing that's it just put on my clothes I usually fix uh, I fix a snack usually some nuts and some dark chocolate almonds and then I uh, fix me a lunch which was is basically oatmeal and berries and I go ahead and you know add the water I don't you, know, you don't have to heat oatmeal by the way folks you don't, may not know that but you know you don't have to heat oatmeal it'll soak up the water and it's just as good uh, at room temperature as it is having you know if you like hot oatmeal I can understand that but you don't have to do that so I just fix the oat I just put oatmeal in a bowl put the berries in pour some water on it stir it around and then put a lid on it put it put it in the front seat with me and then that becomes my lunch <clears throat> as I'm traveling because when I'm traveling I don't want to stop and pick up anything to eat so I just travel and I also put two containers of water in the front uh, one container, but they're, they're stainless steel. One of them's like a thermos. The other's my little 30 ounce uh, stainless steel container that I take with me. And uh, and when I'm traveling that way, I don't have to stop to get anything except gasoline. That's it. And sometimes when I stop, though, if there's a neat little store somewhere or something, I might pick up a snack, but rarely. It's usually a treat. And then in the evenings for the evening meal, uh, you know, I can heat up some soup or if there's a you know, a pizza place around or something. I'll go get a pizza and then you eat that for four or five evening. But this time I'm going to take some pasta because I've got this little E-Tech City uh, burner that goes on those little butane uh, things. And you just screw it in and, and I've got a one quart cup and you put some water in there with some pasta and you make some pasta and then I got, I'm going to get some pasta sauce because I can have pasta. And pasta's good for you because it also works as a, uh, I think it's a, uh, in, uh, soluble fiber that uh, is good for uh, laxatives so that kind of keeps you regular and particularly when you're traveling uh, you have a tendency drinking different type you know, you're drinking water from different water supplies and your body's really sensitive to that and sometimes you can get a little constipated uh, but so if you if you take some uh, pastas uh, that helps and also eat some you know fruit uh, you know veggies of course and I do. I'll, I'll eat, I'll, if I go to a grocery store, I'll pick up a couple of apples. I don't eat bananas anymore. I did for a while, but unless the banana is really ripe, uh, it's not going to do you a hell of a lot of good. So, but anyway, we're here in Kingsland, Texas for you new guys. This is an unincorporated little township in Central Texas, USA, where we are for all you new subscribers. And uh, to go up here and turn around I got to go by the post office to check my mail folks and that reminds me if any of you want to contact me to either support this channel or just contact me uh, in a private manner you can I have a P.O. box you just send it to Rusty P.O. box 1446 Kingsland Texas 78639 again that's Rusty P.O. Box 1446 Kingsland, Texas 78639 and I'll put it in the description too. And why do I do that? Because they eliminated fan funding on YouTube and, they've, and now they've got a strike against me which uh, causes me to lose some of my quote privileges and it just burns my hiney. God darn it. 
because I haven't done a damn thing. I've uploaded 2,700 and something videos, never had a problem. The video that they're questioning or somebody challenged, and I'm sure it was from this company that I was providing an update on. It's a little three-wheel vehicle company that's having some financial problems. But anyway, uh, but anyway, they, they apparently contacted YouTube and YouTube just immediately. You know, they, you're guilty till proven innocent, okay? Because they immediately y yanked the video. It already had about 40-something views, and they yanked the video. Some people saw it, and I saw some comments. So for those of you that saw it, did you see anything in there that was uh, bad or a violation of anything that, that you haven't seen one billion times on other videos at YouTube? So, anyway, guys, having said that, again, this is Kingsland, Texas, in Central Texas, USA. It is a beautiful day. Right now, it's 71 top-down degrees. Yeah, if I had a convertible, I'd put the top down. I was going to get a convertible. I was going to get me a little, uh, what do you call it, Miata, but I don't fit in it very good. And besides that, I'm glad I didn't because now I've got my Prius, and I can go camping in it, and I'm fixing to do that on Monday. So, you guys get ready for some camping videos you know the funny thing about well, not funny the, the fact of the matter about doing camping videos is i can do a video of a storage building and call it a tiny home and get a thousand views in one day i can do a, a, a video of guadalupe mountains national park one of the most beautiful places in the usa and get a hundred you know it's just the way it is you know but i I, uh, I'm going to do the videos that I like to do, and I'll do them for my reasons. And I thought when I go camping, I'll do one in the morning, one traveling, and probably one in the evening. And that'll be my pattern. And as far as uploading them, uh, I'll just upload them as I can. Uh, assuming that I've got Verizon wireless signal strength, uh, then I will upload them using my unlimited data. Uh, if not, I'll have to wait till I get to a place where I do. So if there's any gaps, in the videos it's not because they're not there it's just because there's no way to get them posted you know that may not happen i hope it doesn't the places i'm going to i think have pretty good sales service at least they did the last time i was out there anyway i'm at the post office now folks i'm fixing to go in and check my mail i probably won't get a thing today it's been one of those cat kicking days uh you know i go walking and the dog chases me and the owner's standing on the porch looking at me like there's something wrong with me and i'm going lady can you can you control that dog and she's just kept looking at me like she was deaf so then i said okay here it is if the dog gets close enough i'm gonna kill him with this damn stick i got and then she hollered at him but anyway once you get people's attention sometimes they can, they will do things they get motivated but anyway having said that thumbs up oh excuse me where's my thumb Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water, three quarts a day if you can. You'll pee a lot. You'll pee like a two-peckered possum. <laughs> there are three-peckered possums, I'm telling you, I've seen them. Anyway, uh, drink plenty of water, take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, Why? relieve stress. You know, stretch, walk, don't eat out too much because, uh, you know, the only way to lose weight, folks, is really simple. Eat less. Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.